What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of this channel. So in today's video, we are targeting Sturgeon once again. So today is the first year of 2023. Okay, so I told myself that I was going to take a break from this location, which is 2022. Well, that break is over. This is a new year to get my personal best on Sturgeon, white Sturgeon. Okay, so um, right now I have to be really fast on my introduction due to the fact that I'm kind of late because I had to renew my license. But man, let me tell you, what the heck is going on with the prices of fishing licenses, man? Like all in total was 80 bucks, two rod stamp, one year license, and a sturgeon, you know, sturgeon tags. Cost me 80 bucks at Fisher Supplies. Anyways, yeah, I'm back here once again working with the same rod. If you guys haven't watched my recent video of my first version of 2022, make sure you guys check that out. I'll go ahead and pop up that thumbnail right now and put that description down below. Anyways, let's get to it. All right guys, so for today's bait, I'm working with ghost shrimp with a combination of night crawlers. So when it comes to sturgeon fishing, I know I repeat myself so many times on all of my sturgeon trips but I just have to due to the fact that there's newcomers watching so I have to repeat myself over and over and over again okay so for those that are you know continuously watching my videos I do apologize anyways when it comes to sturgeon fishing you're required to work with a barbless hook okay um, when you land a sturgeon um, in order to keep a white sturgeon it has to be between 40 and 60 it can't be over 60 or under 40 okay that's the regulations all right so I'm working with a six odd barless hook let's go ahead and put ghost shrimp go ahead and hook it through the tail through the head just like that and then go ahead and add a live ghost shrimp on top make sure you keep that ghost shrimp alive so that the sturgeons can sense you know where your bait is located at that's my trick okay all right so go ahead and grab your magic thread with your live with your live ghost shrimp go ahead and lay it on top of that first ghost shrimp that you hooked on and just wrap it around make sure your second ghost shrimp is alive okay Just like that. And then, let's go ahead and add a combination of night crawlers. Just go ahead and put one. You don't want to like put too much bait because you might miss that hook set. And you know, the worst case scenario is that you know, you had a sturgeon on and it pops off. Oh, that's the worst feeling ever. But hey, if you keep trying, and you just keep trying and when you learn from your mistakes and you fix it like I've always told you guys on the video eventually you'll get one and that's how you know real true anglers are made man and boom there you go make sure that hook is exposed at all time just like that let's go ahead and cast it all right guys, so for my rig setup, I'm working with that slider, four ounce ball weight. I have a bead, swivel clip for my leader line. I have 60 pound mono and a six odd barless hook. Time to cast in, wish me luck. In three, two, one. There, there you go. Go ahead and set your drag. Because once you set that hook and your drag is too tight, your adrenaline is going to start rushing. And then once you forget to set that drag, that sturgeon is going to bolt. And that's how, you know, majority of the time, most anglers snap off. So make sure you set that drag, not too loose, not too tight. 
just perfect. All right, so we're just laying that rod on my bike. Let's go ahead and put a bill. All right, guys, so in today's video, we might call it early, but the video is still going up because like I said before on my recent video when I caught that 54 inch sturgeon, I just wanna let you guys know that this is sturgeon fishing, man. You literally have to go to multiple trips in order to get a sturgeon. And I wanna let you guys know that this is how you do it, man. I mean, don't let the video fool you. Like, oh, how come Angel keeps catching fish? Man, let me tell you, man. Part one, part two, and part three, and part four of my sturgeon hunt, don't believe me, okay? I've been out here like at least 20 to 30 times in order for me to get one sturgeon. I mean, nothing but snap-offs, you know, oversized, you know. When I finally got that 54, it was like redemption, like the best feeling ever. But yeah, that, this is sturgeon fishing, guys. I mean, you literally have to feel, you know, determined into getting one. Also, you have to be patient and you have to, you know, keep trying no matter what. Whoa, we might have a hit. We might have a hit. We might have a hit. Take up my bell real quick. It's kind of hard to tell because the current's pretty strong. Oh, guys, we got a hit, guys. We got a hit. Nope. Oh man, guys, been here for two hours, nothing. There's so much debris in the water right now and I'm having a really tough time keeping my line, you know, you know at the same exact spot where i cast so basically i'm just constantly getting tangled with these weeds in the water check it out it's like pushing you know all the way to the left because i'm fishing that outgoing tide came here pretty late i should have came through in you know incoming tide oh shoot oh dude i just got a hit guys oh, man. i just got a hit oh what the hell is Oh my goodness. Whoa. What the heck, dude? I just got a hit. Dude, guys, I just got a hit. Oh, man, I just got a good hit. What the heck? That was a really good hit, guys. Damn it. I missed it. Man, just when I was about to call it a day. There's no weeds touching my line. Oh, oh man, that sucks. All right, let's give it a couple of more minutes. Let's see what happens. Damn it, I just had a really good hit, guys. Oh man. That was, that was definitely a sturgeon hit, 100%. Damn it. Finally, I was able to get that on video. I've never got a sturgeon hit on video. That was the first time ever. Yep, that video is definitely going on. But yeah, look at all the weeds. You see all the weeds pushing? Nothing's touching my line. And I got a really good hit, guys. Damn it, I should have just left it, dude. Man. Well, we might stay one more hour. Let's see what happens. When there's one sturgeon, there's more. So basically that sturgeon that I miss, it's not going to come back due to the fact that sturgeons are lazy fishes, guys. They use, you know, the current to push them out and in. So that being said, that sturgeon isn't going to make a U-turn. We just have to pray that there's another sturgeon. Anyways, yeah, let's see what happens. Wish me luck. All right, y'all. So I'm about to go ahead and call it a day. I mean, we missed that good hit, man. 
hopefully I caught it on footage maybe I would have to like go home and check anyways yeah um this is sturgeon fishing man once you miss that good hit done deal call it a day come back again next time anyways um yeah uh, we might have to experiment with different baits so I might come out here using herring and if herring doesn't work we'll try grass shrimp if grass shrimp doesn't work we'll try pie worm I mean this is what you got to go through when it comes to sturgeon fishing anyways like I said your boy is about to go ahead and call it a day um, this is just part one of that sturgeon hunt for 2023 so it's not over man um, I have a ton to offer for you guys so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel so that you guys can stay updated anyways if you guys enjoyed the content of this video make sure to like and subscribe thanks for watching until next time